Hi, I'm Alex Archbull, and I've been buying and selling antiques since I was nine years old. From basements to scrapyards, I'll look just about anywhere I can to find lost antiques and collectibles. And sometimes I'll go big and buy everything. With my wife and kids, we run an antique shop in Edmonton, Alberta, Canada, filled with some of the most unique items we can find. I never know what's going to happen or who I'm going to meet. This is our life, this is our adventure, and this is Curiosity Inc. I'm home, honey. day that I start to move some things over to the auction from the house some of the sellable items that I found along the way um, bringing the old ambulance with me well, what I'm in right now it makes a good truck incredibly reliable vehicle <laughs> and it looks great um, so we're gonna do a little uh, jumping back and forth today bringing stuff over the auction and clearing the house out Hans and Zenobia should be here pretty soon um, so that we can get uh, Get a bunch of stuff loaded up. Oh no, it looks like my uh, my dump bin has been empty. Yes indeed. The dump guys have come and gone and this should be our final dumpster. This will be what, five or six loads that we've made so far. Let me get myself uh, inside the house and get to work. I left a message for my friend Josh to come and help uh, sort through the tool room because he's really interested in having a look there. But so far, I haven't heard back from him. If he doesn't come soon, I'm going to have to start without him. I pulled a few of the tools up yesterday, but I was hoping to leave the rest for him to go through because uh, he's always looking for cool tools. But I can't have a crew sitting here doing nothing. So unfortunately, we'll have to get started uh, with or without Josh. I have a lot of stuff that needs to be moved out. Basically... Uh, Good majority of the items that are left on the main floor of the house have to go to the auction. Um, there's stuff up on the second floor that has to get brought down. I have to move hutches and things. <laughs> so yeah, whole bunch of uh, whole bunch of stuff. Plus, I'm giving my mom. I have to find where I put it. Uh, I found a bottle of opium perfume, and I mentioned in a video that that was my mom's favorite. And I checked in with her the other day, and she's actually running low. So um, I'm gonna get that over to my mom. But for now, I better start hauling all this stuff out to the car. Here I am, loading up my car, and who should arrive just in time? It's Hans and Zenobia. Um, well, welcome back. It's been a couple days since you guys have been here. We've been uh, working on a project uh, for uh, another person, uh, out of the city, of course. Was that and the trailer renovation? Yeah, that is, yeah. So you guys, uh, you did that on your YouTube channel too, right? That is correct. Yeah, okay. Yeah. And they can find you under Helping Hans? That is correct, yeah. Okay, so if you want to see what uh, Hans has been up to when he's not here helping me, go to his channel and check it out. But you guys, from what I understand, took a completely trashed mobile oh, home. it was disgusting. And you've been renovating it. Yeah, we haven't got the rental part of it, but the cleanup part of it is actually out on this next video. It's an OBA just put out yesterday. Yep. So, and Sonovia just kind of put out a video of her own, I think the day before, right here. Yeah. So you guys have been busy? Oh, just no, no rest for the wicked. Well, I hope you're, <laughs> uh, I hope you're ready for today. Um, let me walk you inside and show you what we've done so far. And, um, and I uh, could definitely use a hand today. So I'm glad you're here. Always a pleasure to help you, Alex. Well, through here. 
Okay, so this probably doesn't look too different. I'm starting this morning by emptying out um, all pretty much as much as I can out of this room into the car. Uh, my mom apparently wants that desk, that bureau. Cool. So we'll get that to her. Um, all uh, most of the stuff in here is going to have to go to charity. Uh, not to charity, sorry. It's going to go to auction. So it needs a uh, needs some sorting and cleaning. But the big task for today is probably going to be uh, upstairs and then downstairs. So I'm going to be back and forth today between here and the auction. Oh, you guys go ahead. We're going up to the, the master bedroom. So pretty much everything that's in the bedroom up here has to come down to the living room. And there's a couple things that can go to charity. Okay. So I took piles of garbage out of here. You can't really tell too much. But this room is probably the room I need help with the most this morning. This bed, I think it's safe to say the bed and frame can go to Goodwill or to charity, whichever charity. Um, same with the little wire uh, table on the side. Um, but the rest of this stuff needs to come downstairs. Um, whatever, whatever you can't do, I'll come back and help you do. But Zenobia, I'm hoping you can sort. Yeah. And, uh, you know, there's some sorting buckets and things here. Garbage in the garbage, good stuff set aside. And uh, Hans, if you can disassemble the bed yep, and then uh, put it in the truck for later for, for charity, unless you know somebody who needs a bed frame, a good uh, solid wood bed frame, you never know. No, I can't think of anybody. I haven't heard of anyone needing it, so. Well, uh, then that can go off to charity. Um, and I, while you guys are doing this, I'm gonna be making runs to the auction back and forth. And um, after this room is cleared out this morning, we'll move down to the basement. Oh, you found a bunny. It's so friendly. <laughs> I don't think it's moving. Honey, I think it's dead. Oh, it's <laughs> dead. Yeah. Alex, can you bring it back to life? What was it of Mice and Men where uh, was it Lenny was petting the, the cat and it was not alive? That's you with that rabbit right now. <laughs> it's so soft and it's not moving. Yeah. I think there's maybe a penny inside of that still too, but that's a cute thing. Like I could probably sell that. Somebody oh, yeah, be interested in that. Definitely. Okay. Well, have fun guys. I'm going to uh, actually, maybe before I go, can I get a hand Hans loading up my car? And then we'll, that, buddy. Okay. We'll go load up and then, uh, then I'll leave you to it. So Zenobia, you're okay up here sorting? Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I'm great. Good. Yeah, you look after my rabbit for me. <laughs> uh, um. I don't think it's eaten in a while. <laughs> Pulled into the auction, and it looks like somebody is auctioning off a low rent version of the Arrested Development vehicle. <laughs> oh boy, always something fun at the auction house. At the auction house, offloading what's left of my first load. It's nice to get out of the house and over here. After Christmas, I have to come and inventory everything and dust it off, get it ready for sale. But at least I've got some room here versus my store to put it all. Back in the house after a successful trip and it looks like Hans and Zenobia have been busy. Hans has a bunch of stuff loaded up for charity already in the back. Let's we'll see how they're doing inside the house. Hey, it's Hans. Well, it's looking emptier up here. I see you found your new uh, tutu for the office party. Oh, yeah, I don't know how I can fit in there. Or maybe a Fred Flintstone. Very... <laughs> or wear it on your head like a, like they oh, do on the Flintstones. Oh, you mean like a hat? Yeah, there you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> oh, that hat's the life of any party. You don't need a lampshade on your head to be the life of a party, though. Oh, I thought I would try to be the light. Oh, oh, we found another one of these drop leaf tables. It's not painted. Well, it's not that we found it. It was there. It's just buried. So we've got to get the desk down, the, the little dresser down, the bureau down. So there's still a bit of furniture to come down, but you're not quite ready for that yet, hey? Huh? No, no, not yet. No. Um, no. This looks like a family portrait of it the is. people that... Sadly, there's no family left. So we'll try and save it and do what we can. Um, okay, while well, you guys are working up here, getting cleaned up, um, 
Yeah. And Hans, you're okay bringing the small stuff down, like the. Oh yeah, I can bring down. Oh, we can bring big stuff down too. Okay. I wonder if that's the way that lamp is supposed to be. Yeah, pretty well. Hey, yeah. Um. Uh, no, this this is a different style, but that's that's the idea though. That is for a torcher. It's probably for the one we took downstairs. Um. For what? Torcher. Yeah, that's what they call those pole lamps. <laughs> Uh, okay, I'm going to leave you guys to it up here to continue cleaning up. So those and, are antiques then? Well, it's from the 40s probably, that chrome nickel-plated sort of lamp, 1940s, 50s era. Um, when you guys are ready, for, when you're ready for help Hans to bring the furniture down, let me know and I'll give you a hand. Um, in the meantime, I heard that Josh walked in the door. Hey. Oh, hey, you, it's Josh. Have you looked at this picture? No. This guy, like, cut off his feet. And he's giving it to the, like this sheriff dude with a bowl of fruit. Sheriff, because he's got the star on him. Well, hey, if you're if you're hungry enough, you know, uh, I guess it looks like some sort of weird Aztec sort of inspired peace offering. Yeah. Uh, same up there too. Maybe that's another offering. No. Of some sort. Yeah. Is that a head? <coughs> is that a nose and a weird big chin? I don't know. Creepy but cool. They're originals. All right, you ready to go look at the tools? Yeah, I am. Uh, so I brought up, uh, yesterday I had Paul working with me, so we brought up just the box stuff, but we left all the majority of that room for you to look through, so. All right, cool. We'll head down there. The base is gonna look a little different than the last time you saw it. I imagine. Yeah, you imagine correctly. <laughs> yeah, let's get some lights on. Hans fixed that light bulb. What? So did I. No, it was uh, broken. Somebody smashed it out. Oh. So we had to fix it again. Oh yeah, this is very different. Yeah, <laughs> it kind of looks like a little bit of a garbage dump down here right now. This is the remnants of uh, Mark. Look, we pulled the paneling off so we could access that room. Oh yeah, seems like a good idea. That was the only way to get back here, really. Yeah. Until that hallway got more cleared up. Right. Crazy. Yeah, and so today, um. At some point, Hans and Zenobia will probably move their way downstairs here, but I thought uh, you and I could dig through the uh, the tool room a little bit. What I was doing is I, I was taking, there's empty plastic bins right there. Those blue bins are empty. Oh, yeah. So I was taking an empty bin and I was filling it with as many new tools as I could. Yeah. But what'd you find, well, Hans? These, there's a whole series of these books. Yeah. They are from 1962. Oh, yeah. Now, we're not sure what you want done with those. Maybe box them up? Or yeah, we'll box them up. If we uh, if we can find an empty bin somewhere, we'll just put them in a bin. Like maybe or I can put them in a box. Yeah, if, if you can find a box, like a file box kicking around, I'm sure there's going to be some around here. Okay, yeah. Um, we'll, we'll save those. We'll put them through the sale. Okay. Thank you, Hans. Alrighty. So, there's an awful lot of tools and stuff hiding back here, and I've not done much digging. Other than pulling out some stuff out of the way here. So maybe what we should do first is get a uh, get some empty bins going so we have somewhere to put this stuff. Paintings. Oh, some oak. Yeah, chunks of oak. All right, some bins. Oak is one of the ugliest woods, but very useful. It's also very sturdy. Yeah. But hence its usefulness. Yeah, very strong. I think that's all tools. Unfortunately, not very pretty. Yeah, let's see. Oh, yeah. It's all brand new stuff. Jeweler drill set thing. Yeah, yeah I think they were making their own jewelry down here. Oh, poker chip. Poker chip said there's probably like uh, grinding discs, screws, nuts and bolts. One, two, oh, oh, this is for, okay, so, okay, let's see here. Is that a, some sort of router? No, this, it's broken, it looks like. Yeah. Oh, no, maybe, yeah, it is broken. This was for, uh, I don't know what machine it was for, but. <coughs> some, sort of, some sort of mechanism. Okay. Tools. So if we find uh, tools that are still in their packages or boxes, we'll just throw them in a bin. Right. Grinder. Yeah. Bench grinder. That's, that's handy. Yeah, Ryobi too. That's not a bad, brain. Ba bad brand. 
Well, no, it's not a bad brand. It's still, well, I know it's not like finding what like Makita or it's DeWalt still a or name something. Brand. It's like a low end name brand. It's yeah. not. It's what you get at Home Depot or something, right? Right. Yeah. It's not Black and Decker. Black and Decker. But it's not like good, but Uncle no, Pete's, you know, grinding wheel. <laughs> Okay, well, I was hoping that there would be like a lathe or a... Well, I did find the little mini lathe that I set aside for you upstairs. But yeah. I think there might be another one. Is it one. a metal? I, I don't know. We'll have to go check on it in a bit. I okay. just said lathe on the side and I, I carried it up. Bloody heavy, I can tell you that much. Yeah. All the tooling that was in here, it just seems like there should be a mill or a lathe. But So you think... So there's a lathe then. A little one, yeah. But I don't know okay. what's on, on the rest of this table. Like there yeah. might be some other stuff Well, it's here. pretty packed, so... I mean, it wouldn't be a full-size mill because they stand pretty tall. Right. And the 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 lathe would be quite long as well. But I thought because there was so much here, maybe there was one or the other down here. Well, I mean, if they're doing work on jewelry, is there stuff in that one? Or oh, this is pretty empty, I think. Okay, good. Well, empty bins are handy bins right now. So, well, maybe I'm going to climb my way over here yeah, sure. to that side, and then I'll get you to hand me a bin. Uh, so I can start sorting from that side. And we both work on one end or the other. Like, <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> Tool avalanche underneath my feet right now. Rock tumblers. Yeah, we got to clear a path so we can actually get to the, what's on the table and what's in these drawers. And it's fairly... Whoa! Dangerous, because if you fall, you can impale yourself on rusty spikes that are sticking up out of the buckets here so uh, you all right Ooh, here's a bin okay i'm gonna take this bin and i'm gonna fill it with stuff like this it's still rifle cleaning rods you know how much stuff i found related to rifles and not found a single rifle Whoa, check out these glasses. I'm gonna try these on. Hey Josh, how's this for a look? That's great. Hello, I'm inventing in my laboratory. This guy who wore these didn't say laboratory. He said laboratory exactly. for sure. I'm in my laboratory. I'm creating a rabbit made of titanium and juice from the nectar of the gods. I don't know. He's an odd guy. <laughs> but I guess uh, that's what you would have worn back in the day. He's cool looking little guy, goggles. You made them up. I made him up. He's an I yeah, my characters. I'm like, what's up with this guy? I'm gonna keep him. This is kind of a neat thing that Josh found in uh, a bunch of mixed up papers. It's an autographed picture of Brian Mulrooney. There's Ben Mulrooney from eTalk Daily. Worked with him actually on Canadian Idol. And look, it's a signed letter and it's a whole letter from him to the gentleman that lived here. And maybe this adds up with us finding stuff from the queen too, that obviously they knew the prime minister and he's sending them like their Christmas portrait. Um, there's a good chance they knew other people in high places too. Uh -huh. Well, Josh is looking through books and papers. I've managed to fill an entire bin full of brand new tools, drill bits, Dremel sets, um, buffing pads, polishing pads. I mean, it's all brand new, all brand new. Oh, and I think, is this? Mini vertical milling or drilling machine. Oh, you found it. Yeah. There's a little milling machine back here. And I don't know what this is. What is this thing? Is that part of it? Oh, yeah. Okay, that... Okay. Wow, that wasn't even that buried. Okay, so that's obviously... If that's a milling machine, that's supposed to stand upright, kind of like a drill press. Yeah, okay. Okay. So that part stands up. There's so much stuff. Oh, yeah. hey, another... Uh... Meccano set, bits and pieces. There's a ton of Meccano. Man, I was so close to that the last time I was here. You were probably standing on it. <laughs> All I needed to do was move a couple more things. Okay, so... More than a couple more things. Okay. Do you think he was... Okay, like I'm just about there and then I have to move a bunch more. So is it... Oh, I see. Okay. This is probably full of... This looks like it sits in there. Yeah. Okay. So this stands <coughs> upright like this. Yep. And 
it seems to be missing. Like, is this for putting your stuff you're working so on? So this is, yeah, you put your work stuff on here, right? So a mill is the only machine that can build itself, huh. is what they say. That's cool. Because, like, so I, I don't know anything. I used to work for the city in the, in the fab shop. So I got to see this stuff all the time. Unfortunately, I never decided to apprentice on it, but I kind of wanted to. But instead, I, I decided to become an artist and not make any money. Huh. <laughs> Melissa's brother is a CNC lathe machinist. I'm sure he'd know how to work this thing. Well, CNC is a little bit different. Well, I think he's oh. trained on manual lathes as well. Okay. Yeah, CNC, you have to program it, and then it does its, it works yeah, the program. Yeah, it's different. It's on a bed. This is, yeah. This when is, you were saying these things new were like six to $800 Canadian, something like that? If it's a mini one, yeah. A big one would be, you know, it depends. Yeah, new. This doesn't look like it's worth, uh, or sorry, it doesn't look like it's branded. So probably just like um, in, maybe imported from Asia or something like that. Yeah. So if the one upstairs is its is its brother, you know, based off of that, they're probably worth around six or eight hundred bucks from like Harbor Freight or Princess Auto. Yeah, well, it looks like, like there's like a lot of Princess Auto stuff here. Yeah, that's probably where they got this. Okay, well, still cool. Yeah. Still a good find. I mean, and that's just on the surface. Who knows what's next to all this stuff? I'm going to continue digging myself. I'm ready to hand you this bin, though, that we can set aside. Or maybe uh, take it straight upstairs, because it's uh, packed full of new tools. Find some snips, so this will have to work. We found a crate. There's probably snips in here somewhere, but... Oh, that name's a trick. Josh is going to open it up and see what's in it. Now you got to worry about the string. Yeah. Do you have a knife Don't on? Don't worry, I'm going to work after this, so I'm wearing my work clothes. What's in the crate? Oh, it's also nailed down. Okay. They really didn't want us in there. It's probably some sort of... It's going to be a tool of some kind. Yeah. We need uh, another hammer. Is there another persuader around here? Uh, yeah, I'll find one. Side. Uh, wait, what did, what did this say? Yeah. It said operation manual. Rotary table. Oh, this is probably. Oh, like a precision rotary, like for doing fine, kind of like milling work, I guess. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty cool. That's a good find. You'll make out with that, I think, pretty well. Looks to be in good shape. Like, probably uh, brand new. It looks to be brand new. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, it's not like they used it and created it back up. No, that's cool. that's brand new. Okay, well, and there's other crates here too. Boxes. This looks like a an older, like a carpenter's box where you keep your carpenter's tools. Yeah. See, somebody was proud of this TWM. They put their initials in brass plate on it. It's all dovetailed. A little. Uh, okay. okay. Well. Oh Jesus! I'm sorry. This has got to open. Yeah, well, oh. there's it looks like this. Oh, okay. Wait, did I open that weirdly though? No, no, no. I think. Oh yeah. Okay, it has four. Okay. okay. <laughs> so it opens. Hopefully, I didn't spill all the contents out. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And there's little drawers. Full of a crazy amount of. Oh wait, these. <laughs> Those are um, uh, tap and die sets. Yeah. Drills. Yeah. These have got to be. Titanium. I don't know what they're made out of, but they're... It's kind of weird that they put them in here all jumbled together like that. Yeah, because it would possibly chip them, right? Yeah, doll them pretty badly. Okay, so these are... Oh, it's okay. And then I just did something worse. <laughs> so these are probably for the for the <coughs> mill. That's probably why he had them. But again, I don't actually know what I'm talking about, so I'm just guessing. Yeah, well, I mean... Anybody can use a tap and die set. Oh, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. But these are huge. Yeah, those are kind of... Right, look size. how big that is. Wait, is that, is that the right spot for that drawer? I think that was at the top. Right? There we go. Yeah, because that's where the clasp so, is. And it's, it's missing a little drawer or something in the bottom. It's probably around here somewhere. Pretty little can. I have left Josh... In the basement, I'm going to go throw this out and go check on Hans. Keith! 
Oh, almost missed it. <laughs> well, one more bag. Let's go see how Hans and Zenovia are doing upstairs. How's it going up here, guys? Boy, is it ever going. You got it right down to the walls pretty well. You've been busy little bees. Well, that's what you have us here for. Look at this. I can stand in the corner like I've done something bad. Oh, well, Alex, trust me, you're okay. You haven't been a bad boy yet. Oh, the day is still I have to complain anyway. So. Oh, you found a few little things, some little clocks, some other jewelry. Shoes. Shoe stretchers, yeah. Yeah, it was a big job. I mean, this room was packed, packed, packed. Well, there was a little bit of stuff in here, all right. The cool 60s fabric we'll keep to sell. Okay. Um, that's the only fabric that's in here and not up there. Okay. This is clothing, so I'm putting it in the other pile. I'm sure Mark will appreciate any. I don't, I'm not actually, I'm not sure he's going to appreciate us finding more clothing at this point. Well, he okay. might be like, enough already. I, I was telling Mark the other day, I said, it'd be like if you were a pirate and you're carrying just treasure chest full of gold. It's fun, like when you get off the boat, and you're like, yeah, look at all this gold, we're gonna go bury it. And then after five minutes, you're like, I am sick and tired of moving this gold. Somebody else do this, like you wouldn't ever wanna see it again. I think that's how he feels about the clothing right now. He's just well, over it. I think he probably, oh, here it is. That's quite, that's quite the painting. Nice try. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's lots of sort of modern art and stuff sitting around. You good? I think he is. Okay, we got a step coming up. Okay, about two feet to a step. Step. Okay, and then a bunch of steps coming. Okay. Yep. And I think the chair was already taken for the option. Yeah, I took the chair already. Okay, a little slippery here. Okay, yeah, watch your step there, buddy. Yeah. You all good? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to There we go. One down. Thank you, sir. Okay, and then we have the dresser up at the top of the stairs we should maybe bring down. Yep. Oh, I see. She's saying it's... There on that corner, huh? Oh, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yep. Okay, there we go. We're gonna watch the height. We may have to tilt it towards me to get it down. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay, tilt, 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 tilt. Okay, it's gonna go up towards you. Okay. Oh. There we go. I don't need seven years of bad luck. Let me go up once more. Okay, let me get my head out of there. Watch it, yeah. My coconut. Yeah. Watch Alex's coconut. Here you go. Now just watch going out that door. Sorry. That way we probably should put on an option. Yeah. Oh. You still down here, Josh? Yeah. 
How's it going? Okay. Find anything cool? Hey, there's uh, a telegraph. That's for uh, doing, that's for cobbling shoes. Yeah. You see that right there is for sending a telegraph message. This? Yeah, that's a telegraph operator's. Yep. Well. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's freaking cool. Yeah. Okay, I didn't like a ship to shore. Or, uh, this might actually be off of a ship. You know why I say that? Because it's all out of uh, bronze. This wouldn't rust. Right. This might be off of an old sailing, like a, a telegraph off a ship. This is what they used when they called for distress on the Titanic. Right. right. I found all these gems. Wow. Guess we'll be retiring now. Too bad they're plastic. <laughs> Oh, you did find a bunch of quarters, though. Yeah, a bunch of, yeah. Those uh, those were in a toolbox that was full of ruined uh, tooling. Random loose change. Yeah. Oh, I found, I don't know if this is that interesting. Someone, one of them was being written to by someone in <coughs> prison or jail. Oh. Found a letter, and this is what they drew them. Kind of neat, I guess. And then the, here was the letter that accompanied it. I don't know for what? sure where they were. It was just like... Was there kind of a story to it? They were or? saying like something about uh, looking out the window. All they see is a little field and, and a big concrete wall. And they have to get up at 7 a.m. Stuff like that. Kind of interesting. Sounds like how Stephen or Jason would describe living in our house. <laughs> <laughs> well, so I guess the, the digging continues then. Yeah, uh, I found this as well. Oh, is it, uh, is it like camera a camera in there? No, oh, there's darn no it. camera in it. What? But was there another camera around here? There was a red one somewhere. I can tell you right now that's for a twin lens reflex camera. Uh, or hang on, let's see. Oh, that might be for the box camera. Right, that red one? That might be for the red box camera. And I just knocked the instructions off. I'll yeah, grab it. Right. That looked like a, uh, like a Yashica or a Rolly Flex case almost, but it would have had a hole on the side. Yeah, I think that's for that red box camera. Right. I, and then all of this is flooring. Weird. I've never seen... That's all flooring in those boxes? Yeah, it's like... This one's broken. Oh, it's parquet. Parquet. That's parquet flooring, yeah. I don't know what that is. Well, you make the little squares, um, like you make a square, and then you continue doing squares, and it makes sort of a pattern all over your floor. Okay. Well, is that what the, it's in those big boxes too? Yeah, I think so. It's got the same okay. as oak floor or whatever. So they were planning on doing uh, oak flooring at some time that never happened. Yeah, at some point. I think they had a lot of projects on the go that didn't quite get finished, yeah, sadly. That, that's like me. Well. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go check on Hans and Zenobia. Oh, I, I ordered pizza. I don't know if you want to stay for pizza. Oh, sure. Also found a whole bunch of belt buckles. This one was pretty cool, I thought. This is a Budweiser one. Oh, yeah, there's Budweiser fans out there. Yeah, and then yep, okay. a bunch of different belt buckles. I thought that was kind of... I don't know if that's necessarily a score. I don't know, but I thought it was kind of cool. <laughs> no, it's neat. No other, like, mills or anything? No, just the one that I've started digging out now that I have... You not that it looks like it, but now that I have this partially out of the way. Yeah. Oh, I can see you've been busy. Okay. Oh, there's so much trip to the dumpster. Hopefully I'm not throwing out anything good. Well, I'm mostly throwing out uh, papers and plastic and stuff. If the guy who recycles pretty well everything is throwing stuff out, I'm pretty sure that it's going to be garbage. That's a little uh, telescope. Yeah. Whoa, dude. It looks so close from here. <laughs> yeah, I've been summoned by Josh, who's been working in the basement. Get, get some lights on down here too. That's weird. Okay, Josh made a discovery in the basement. I'm looking through this bag here, throwing out some junk. Yeah. And then I find all these legs and stuff that were for something. And then underneath the legs. Silver dollars. Are those? 1800s American silver dollars. Okay, are those the same? Yep. Okay. Some are. Are these the same? They're all silver dollars. Okay. Are these Troy ounce of silver? Yeah, these are all from all over the world. These are uh, one Troy ounce silver coins. This is like non stop. <laughs> I figured we'd find something down here. The discoveries couldn't have been done for Man, whoever the adventure. Put these in here, that's it. That's it. That's it? Whoever uh, mixed. That's it. That's still <laughs> a lot. Yeah. Whoever was putting stuff in here, like. 
like literally all this junk was in there right was in this bag and i'm like i almost was just like oh it's nothing and then i was like wait that's a bad idea just to say oh it's nothing throw the whole thing away but i looked at these and then underneath that i see some plastic which i thought was more of like this plastic yeah and it's silver coins yeah sweet score thank you very much josh yeah now I feel like I should have ordered the extra large pizza to help compensate, but <laughs> we'll try and make it up to you. This is getting interesting. I thought we'd be done with finding stuff like this. <laughs> oh, we are all gathered around. We just finished some exciting pizza. Yay, exciting? Yay. I don't know, it wasn't exciting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Zenobia. Yes. If you're okay um, continuing in the dining room and emptying out that buffet well not buffet it's the, the hot, hot chair. yeah um i'm gonna go take another load over to the auction hans uh if you're all right um there's all that stuff in the back of your truck needs to go to charity you may as well go run that over and you're still digging through the tool room for a bit yeah for a bit okay i'll try and get back before you go okay i feel like we should if it wasn't like we weren't worried about you know we'd put the hands in the middle and go and break <laughs> there we go oh. all right off we go his back somewhere over there whoa picking up some extra clothing getting that bagged up josh how's it going oh, wait i'm just having some more pizza oh yum <laughs> i think it might be expired uh but what do you got going on here it looks like you built the mill yeah so i figured out how to put it together it's not tightened yet so but that's how it goes again i don't know how these work and this is a tiny one but i think it's more or less complete like this and then of course all the tooling yeah it looks like it's in pretty good shape yeah i would say it all works everything moves which is good so that's good also i found this uh plane. oh big old plane yeah yeah was it in plain sight no i was underneath all these uh all in here. Oh, it's buried. Oh, so you're just doing under under there right now? Yeah, finding a bunch of a bunch of stuff. Like garbage and. Oh, I thought that was a nudie magazine. Ah uh, no. Oh look. Oh, working woman. <laughs> Your brain told you it was Sex something. Power. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's more or less. Uh... What's like? It looks like a candelabra or something underneath by your knee there. What is that silver thing? You see it? Oh, is it part of a towel rack or something? I, I don't know. Oh, housewares. Something not that old. Okay. Well, I'm going to try and do another auction run here. Hans is just helping me load up the vehicle. Okay. And uh, that'll be my last auction run of the day. Oh, you found some more safety glasses. Yeah, a whole bunch. Found this there. I found these ones I thought were pretty, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Spiffy 1950s safety glasses. Yeah, I like these ones. That's a good look. They're not very comfortable though. Oh, uh, they're cool. I like them. That's neat. Okay. Well, I'm going to go do another trip to, uh, to the auction. All right. I'll be back. First day of moving stuff over to the auction house. And this is what I've got a whole pile of mid century and antique furniture, including the love seat from upstairs, the marble top, um, Victorian style table, um, glassware, tools like crazy drop leaf tables antique chairs just everything uh is piling up on me here and we're making some good progress i'll have to do this again probably over the next couple of days but that makes a dent out of the place anyway the big job is going to be uh after christmas coming here and getting this all inventoried and lauded but that's going to be a problem for future alex well that's probably enough use of the ambulance today I'm gonna uh, head back over, switch out to the little FJ Cruiser here and load up some stuff that my mom asked for. Uh, go check and see how Mark and all the other guys are doing at the house too. Been a long day already, but always lots of fun. The dining room is starting to get emptied. Boy, the way that dust is, it looks like it was on fire almost shooting up out of there. Well, there goes the phone again. There's Josh with his bags of garbage. Garbage. And Hans and Zenobi are heading out, so I'm gonna say goodbye to them. Well, they've been getting a lot more clothes loaded up here, haven't they? Oh yeah, that looks good. 
Every bag out is a bag I don't have to worry about. Yeah, that's right. So. And some people were saying, oh, Alex, you could have made a mint selling those clothes. And I was saying, you know, I'm happy for him if he makes his money. I don't have the warehouse space. I don't have the time. Plus, he has to pay this guy. He's got a, he has warehouse. His warehouse is 2,300 square feet. It's already overstuffed. Oh, my Lord. He's filled it completely full. And he's having to rent another space. And then you got to clean all the stuff and list it. It's going to take him years and years to sell that, which I don't have. So I'm happy for him. Uh, and you guys, you've been fantastic. Thank you for all your help today. No well, you know, we appreciated you as a friend, and that's what it's all about. You should be able to help your friends, and I mean, just. Oh, you guys are the best. See, that's the Christmas spirit, and that's coming from a guy who's looking like Santa Claus with that red <laughs> shirt right now. <laughs> that makes you Mrs. Claus, though. Okay. <laughs> I'm getting gray now. <laughs> well, thanks again, guys. I hope you have a wonderful night. You too. You too. Back in the basement, Paul's here. Hey Paul, I saw the last in the comments. Somebody said I'd pay money to see that guy's dance moves again. <laughs> oh wow! Well. Oh, you got to do it. Well, then. You got to give me some inspiration to shake it. Uh, well, you gotta you gotta remind us of what. Okay, what was the do thumbs it, up one that you were doing? Oh, I think that was this one. That was that. Okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, they were all like. Like there was the shopping cart and the ladder. Yeah. Then there's the uh, what is it, the medicine ball? Oh, okay, I don't the medicine <laughs> ball. Is that a thing or you just make that up? I'm making them up. I make them all up as <laughs> the I go along. The medicine ball. <laughs> I make them up as I go along. How's it going back here? Good. And just woke up. Just plowing time. through it. I see you've got your inmate uh, outfit on. You've got the stripes yeah, behind yeah, bars. I have the bars in front of me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can, look, there's, there was paintings on the wall. Yeah, there's three good prints there. Yeah, are they all prints or any of them original? I think no. they're prints. They're just prints. Well, I think my okay. parents had that chick one on the end over the, over the coffin. Finding a couple neat things down in the tool area, like these early Firestone SCP race car stickers. There's a whole bunch of those. And these early 70s Toyota advertising playing cards that you probably would have got from the dealership. You go and look at the car and they say, before you go, friend, consider that new Seneca ST and take these cards with you. And you put them in your pocket and leave them in your toolbox. You said, uh... Well, those are bullets. Well, they're just the shell. shells. Yeah, this is the thing. There's there's all sorts of gun paraphernalia, and the closest thing we found to a gun was a rifle. Uh, was a wherever it went. It's right here. I put it oh there. yeah, this is off an old CIL uh, 22, but it's not in very good uh, condition. It's just parts for now. So. Also, I found. Found these a little earlier. Oh, I'm not sure what this is, but probably all cameras. Oh, I think I have the. Uh, is that a Bolex? No. Nope. Cosmetics department, eight dollars. That must have come off something else. Oh, that's a nice little camera. Ansco folding. That's so cool. For the time being, for Just what I need. For shoes. More cameras. More cameras. But that's cool. And then we'll you get whatever that thing is down on the floor by your left foot. Oh, I think that looks like a uh, an early till or adding machine or I don't think it's a cash register. It's probably for doing your ledgers on because it's a little bit wider carriage on it. And it has only numbers. Yeah, it's it's for it's an adding machine or a ledger machine. Okay. Parts of a sewing machine back here. So far, mostly the blinds. I've been double fisting bags upstairs all day. Calipers? Yeah, reminds me of Django. More calipers. Those are actually really handy when you're trying to measure um, like the lugs on a watch or well, anything small. Anything. anything. I'm just thinking of things I've used it for. Oh, this is a... Uh, that's a little press. Cigarette pack. Harley Davidson cigarettes. Tastes like gasoline and oil on the highway. Harley Davidson king size. Oddly, somebody would probably buy this thing. I love the cigarettes. Hey, hey, Paul, Harley Davidson cigarettes. Did you know they made those? No. Yeah, well, <laughs> I have evidence. <laughs> yeah. Upstairs bedroom is nearly emptied out completely. Hans and Zenobia did a fantastic job up here. You can actually walk in. That carpet I think is worth saving. We'll probably roll it up and get it cleaned. What a difference, eh, Paul? 
it is incredible when you consider that you couldn't even get in the room at one point. Yeah, the upstairs is like, I'd say 90% done. All we have left is a bit of sorting here. I think all the, all the clothes are out of the closet. Big closet. Good size closets, yeah. You can see exactly where all the furniture was from where the dust marks are, where every little decoration was. Oh, it's not over yet. Yeah, I know, there's, there's <laughs> linen. I've been saving the linen because it's relatively clean. Yeah. So I'll go through that another day. But that's it, gentlemen. So after another long day, the upstairs bedroom is just about done. Next, it's gonna be taking more loads over to auction. I've already taken, I think, six or seven truckloads of stuff over there today. You saw the massive pile. There's probably about two or three times more to come out of the house. So we're making good progress, finding some good things. And that find that we had in the basement of the silver coins, well, that was exceptional. Those early American silver dollars date back to the 1700s, which would be some of the very first American silver dollars. And they run right through the 1800s. Good finds. Very happy to have some extra treasures coming home tonight. And I'm excited because a couple days it's going to be Christmas and that's a really nice Christmas present. Thanks for watching guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. Don't forget to subscribe for more episodes. We'll see you all soon and bye for now.